Hello everybody, and this is Laura with Laura and the Party Animals and KNNA News. And today, this is a little girl. This is Marshmallow. Marshmallow came to us. Um, she's a bearded dragon, by the way. These guys are from Australia. But she came to us as a donation, had been injured. Um, and still she cannot move her back feet but she's doing really well she's growing and she's eating pretty good um with some help by me she can also move her legs and stuff like that and signal when she doesn't want me to bother her which is usually with this arm it's kind of like this <laughs> sticks her tongue out when she doesn't want to be bothered but anyway, Marshmallow the Bearded Dragon. So she's going to sit with me during this report. So anyway, today I'm giving you like a World War III uh, information. <laughs> Unfortunately, Biden recently authorized our long-range missiles to be used by Ukraine and sent into Russian territory. Now, this is going to possibly start World War III, and is it, up, it is up to us as Americans, not a divided political system, okay? It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or a Republican. We must unite as Americans to say no to this. Why? Okay, I got to start completely over from the beginning. Um, so, anyway, they've authorized the long um, the long-range missiles to be used in Ukraine. Since Russia has now changed their nuclear doctrine with statements in there saying that any country that provides their enemy with weapons that will be used on Russian territory now becomes a direct in an enemy of Russia as well and Russia will be authorized to use nuclear weapons to stop those advances regardless of what country it might be if that country's weapons are used in their lands. And I get it. Would the United States allow this? No. We would be doing the same, right? So basically, for what I believe are political means, and I know I started this out saying this is not going to be political, but it's not political between us Americans, okay? This is the result of billionaires who own the company, especially BlackRock, who owns basically everything. They own the defense companies, they own the companies and have the contracts to, to rebuild the very countries they are destroying. Now, who owns BlackRock? Well, BlackRock is owned by all the elite billionaires, people. That is who is running our country, and those are the people that want this war. So when Trump comes up and says, no, we're not going to have this. We're going to stop these wars. This is not... Why, why is this our problem? We have our own country to deal with, our own country to protect. And, and our weapons will be limited, okay? We, we don't have an unlimited supply of weapons either. Those weapons we paid for, and it is up to you and me and all the rest of American citizens to unite and say no. We can't have this. We will not allow our money to be used in the with these or for these weapons against these countries, these foreign wars that some people don't even know where they are on a map. There's there's gonna be a lot of people on here. It couldn't tell me where Ukraine or Israel or any of them are are on a map. Okay, why are we fighting or or having anything to do? with holy wars that have been going on for thousands of years okay we shouldn't have any involvement in this on either side and i'm i'm not 
saying one side is right and one side is not. I think it's all horrible and, and it shouldn't be happening. But we should never, the United States should never allow our weapons to be used over to destroy Russia. That is a declaration of war. Do you understand what I'm saying? In a sense, they just caused war. So again, who wants a war? You and I don't. I guarantee you, you don't want to be drafted or you would already be signed up for the military. Your kids don't want to be drafted. You don't want your kids to be drafted. They would already be in the military if they wanted to go fight. Am I correct? You're not going to want any part of this. And I don't. But you got to remember, the government works for us. And we can say no. But it's going to take a lot of us. And I did put a petition out. I sent it out on Facebook. Um, it's a change.org. Not asking for any money. I'm just asking for signatures. If we get enough, I will get it over to Washington. All right. So, um, please, please listen again. So, you have, say this is BlackRock. Say my fist is BlackRock, right? And you have all these different companies that BlackRock owns. All the defense companies, whether it be Bell Helicopter, General Dynamics, and the list goes on, you know, it, on and on and on. I'm, I'm not going to even start to name them all. So here you have all these companies which branch out to all these other companies, which branch out to all these other companies. And BlackRock, the owner of all these companies, now all the shareholders and the people owning BlackRock are those elite billionaires. It's not you and me, people. It's not you and me. It's the elite billionaires. And the only way they feel like they're going to make their money is through these wars. They need the wars to make money and have control and power. And it is no different than what they did to us during the COVID years, right? They took our freedom of speech. They, they destroyed my social media account completely because I was support in Trump and I was, you know, um, in support of our right to choose on these vaccinations. And anyway, so they took our freedom of speech. They took our freedom of assembly, okay? They took our freedom of religion during COVID. They have tried to attack our right to bear arms. Now, keep in mind, the right to bear arms isn't just, the Second Amendment is not just about the right to bear arms, but it is also the clause that allows us to remove the government that um, could be in power possibly committing treason or a government that is doing very, very malicious things against its own country. And it is the Second Amendment that they have tried to destroy just by going after the guns. But how many of you people listening to me actually know that that is the clause that would help protect us and, and have us establish a new government, okay? So that is the Second Amendment, all right? Um, these, these are all so, Im so important. And I know every one of you, I would think at least most of you, don't want, wouldn't go like, go buy weapons right now and just go, oh, I've got some money. So I think I'm going to back, you know, buy weapons and go blow up innocent people and animals um, and destroy the environment. I do not believe any of you would want to do that. So why are we allowing it? Why are we allowing this? Has anyone thought about all these sweet little animals? Anybody? Hmm? Do these guys have a right to be killed? Or, or do you have a right to kill them? Do they have a right to kill them? Or do these guys have a right to live? They didn't do anything. They haven't done anything. And yet nobody's bringing up what it is doing to those animals, whether it be the reptiles. 
You know, whether it be the horses, the mules, the dogs, the cats, the birds, the destruction being done to these poor little animals. And let me tell you what, each of these animals has a soul. They all have a soul. They don't, they, they know way more. A soul would be when they can make decisions, at least that really is like how I think a lot of a soul works, I, or that would be a major part of it. And animals aren't making decisions just on the id, which would be the basic survival needs, right? I can train these animals. I can snap my finger, I can call them, or I can signal them to come to me. And they make the alert decision on their own to come to me. That's a soul, people. That is a soul. And they're killing all of them. They're killing the dogs. They're killing the cats. They're killing the birds, the horses, the mules. Do you see the suffering just to the horses and the mules over in Palestine? Are you kidding me? It's horrible. It's, it's unbelievable. I, I just, it just shocks me. But you and I and all Americans have the ability to unite together and say, no, we are not going to support our war. A war, not our war, their war. We will not support a war. Start calling your congressman, your elected officials. Start reaching out to the Senate. Start calling the White House people. Go, go start reaching all of them. Tell them, no, you will not support this. You, I mean, this is a political move on Biden's part right now. I, at least in my opinion, and I can rightfully, at least so far, have my right to say my opinion. And yeah, he is going to dump World War III right in Trump's lap. And, and this is a plan, okay? This is just unbelievable this political move that's being done. Biden already had over two years to do this. Two years, if he really wanted to see this happen in Ukraine. No, he does it now. That's a political move, people. That is revenge move. And it is against the American people that voted the way that we did to stop these wars, to stop the invasions in our country and to protect our own people. So I want to thank you for listening to me. And I please, if you can, if you have time, the, the petitions on my Facebook, um, I did, it should be in one of the posts right before this one. This is also going to go out on YouTube. So um, just say no, people. Say no. You do not want our country, our world destroyed. And I don't want to destroy them any more than I want us destroyed or the poor little animals destroyed. So have a great day, but, you know, please consider what I'm saying. And I'll try to keep you updated. Thanks again.